Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are at Audio Advice Live with Scott Noonan. We are in a killer home theater system at the show with some Bowers and Wilkins speakers. Scott, tell us what we got going on in this room. Yeah, so we've been just having a blast at this show. This particular room has got a Sony projector set up and a Bowers and Wilkins set up. And as, as we've been talking about as we go around, we really need box speakers. We just can't put them in the you know, hotel room in terms yeah. of installing it in the walls. So we designed this system in the home theater tools, we always do, and then built a little 3D uh, video of it and worked with Bowers and Wilkins and Sony to sort of lay out the room to make it sound acoustically great. What's fun about this is these are the 801s, Bowers and Wilkins 801s D4s, and yeah. we've got the 803s in the back. So it's a classic five channel system, which you go, oh my gosh, like in a normal world, like once you put seven in and all that kind of stuff. Sure. Well, it turns out we, we've got a video, maybe we can link to it when we get in, of a room a lot like this where someone's mm -hmm. got, you know, they don't have a dedicated theater, theater sure. room. And so maybe they got a living room or media room, but they want something beautiful. Yeah. And obviously the thing that makes BMW set up, you know, stand apart from everyone else is these are just beautiful, Absolutely. iconic speakers. You know, these are what's used in Abbey Road Studios, Skywalker Ranch, all those kind of places. So we set it up a lot like that. So, you know, if you're someone that's looking uh, at maybe a media room and you're looking for high performance stuff that also looks beautiful, yeah. B and W is a great solution. We're gonna have a chance. You and I sit down and listen to this a lot more after the, you know, after we shoot the video. Absolutely, Bowers and Wilkins just has some. Like you said, it's iconic. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's got some class and style, but it also has some great sound. So I'm super pumped to check out this system later on today. So we've got five speakers. We've got some serious amplification. Um, do what, what else we got going on here video wise? In this room, we have the Sony 7000 projector. Yeah, the brand and, new one. Yeah, and it's just obviously gorgeous. We got a little bit washed out right now because of the light we got on sure. us. But when we turn this down and play it, it's going to be incredible. And then we've got a trend of uh, for all the surround sound. It, it just room sounds incredible, looks incredible. Why don't we grab Carlos from Sony, have him jump in with us and talk a little bit about the, the projector side. That would be fantastic. All right, so now we've got Carlos joining us from Sony. Carlos, we've known each other for a long time. you got a killer setup in here. Tell us a little bit about what the setup is in this room. So when I started working with Nick, he's the designer for Audio Advice. He's great, by the way. He sent me the rendering. I said, okay, we need to figure out what screen to use. So we're using a Stuart 142-240 anamorphic. So we can deliver the full theater experience. And then on the back right here, we have the new laser projector, the XW7000ES. We just came out with that projector. Everybody wants it. I know you guys are <laughs> very excited to finally get some projectors. So this is a great room. I mean, we're pretty much showing a theater experience here. Yeah, it's interesting. That's 7,000 projector. Uh, so I got one of the first ones, if not the first one that came in the nation and did you know, a review on that projector. And I ran it head to head against the 1025, which is a $45,000 projector. Yeah. The, the, the 1025's you know, approaching 100% more expensive than this one. And this 7,000 was like literally, I had to put them side by side to see the differences. So you, you guys like really brought up a lot of capability and simultaneously brought down the price. Yes, you know what? They redesigned the lens. So now the lens is more efficient so we can lower the price, right? So it's, it's a very, very good lens. Plus they increase the lumens on the projector. They have a new system, a new laser, they have a new optical block. So the whole projector was completely redesigned. We have three projectors right now. I mean, we have the 5000 ES, the 6000 ES, and the 7000 ES. And all of them were completely redesigned. So it's a great opportunity. If you're thinking about projectors right now, this is the best time right now. 2000 lumens in this one, and then you've got 2,500 lumens in the 6,000, and you're all the way up to 3,200 lumens in this 7,000 projector right now. Yeah, and so that helps definitely when you get a large screen like this, and even if you've got maybe some ambient light in your room, of course, when we can make it pitch black like we can in this room, it's gonna look gorgeous, but if you've got some ambient light, and you've got a beautiful projector and it's really bright, that definitely can help out. If you're not, you know, if you're not sure, you're trying to figure out, is this uh, projector bright enough for me? We just announced yesterday yeah. our home theater design tool that uh, Michael and I went through. He got the exclusive uh, early look at it. Yeah. You can actually go in there, set up your theater, put in your screen and your gain, 
and bring up the exact projector and it will tell you if you've got enough brightness to do full HDR or not. Yeah. And you can move your projector forward and backwards and it'll show you all the nits and everything you need in it. Yeah, so before you had to kind of figure that out, you're like, oh man, what if I buy the wrong one? And now you've got those tools built into your calculator. That is super, super cool for, for home enthusiasts like me. Yeah, so you just go to audiobice.com, you'll click on the home theater button, you'll see the tool there. You can just play with it and try it yourself. So Carlos, some of the other things you guys did, you guys brought a chip set in that was in uh, the GTZ 380, which is your like flagship um, yes. projector. Tell us a little bit about the processing. So, you know, we're Sony. So being a Sony company gives us all that knowledge that we have from the production, from the cinema. So we always say lens to living room. Our idea is to bring creators intent. So we want to deliver that. With that, we have a processor that was designed and we've been improving that processor for the past, I'd say, 25 years, and that's called the X1 Ultimate, and it was designed for the TVs. Now, that processor got redesigned for projectors, and we had it on the GTC 380, which is the $88,000 projector, our flagship. It's a beautiful projector, really good, good reviews, and they decided to have that on a price point of $6,000. So nice. that brings color, contrast, HDR remaster, object recognition, there's so much processing in real time that brings that cinema, theater, creator's intent. And it's on, you know, it's the best processor. Like, I, I like to call this like GTC 380 babies. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and we even have the GTZ 380 here upstairs, and that thing is a monster. We were watching it last night while everybody was asleep. <laughs> it's incredible. So one of the things, talking about the processing, um, you know, we do a lot of work in our labs looking at these projectors so that we can do reviews on them and analyze them, compare against each other. And one of the things a lot of the uh, projector companies do is they put a lot of processing in. I would encourage you to take the time to figure out what processing you want and don't want. Um, when people buy the projectors from Audiovice, we actually send them a setup guide, and it, it suggests basically based on how you're using it to turn off some of the processing that we nice. think actually is counterproductive in some cases, and then turn on some other parts of the processing. And so we think, and, and we've spent a lot of time, you and I talking about I this, know. you know, what processing do we want on and what don't we? So whether it's you're buying it from Audiovice and we're helping you figure it out, or you're going somewhere else, you got a great look, just make sure someone's taking the time to calibrate sure. it set it up correctly, figure out what processing should be on and off. And you know, one of the things that's really cool about Sony, because you guys are so much into the gaming part of the world with PlayStation, et cetera, you think a lot about lag time. And so we can turn this off and what we're, we're down to like in a normal gaming situation, like 21 millisecond lag. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, gamers definitely, I mean, because think about it, you've got, Carlos, how big is our screen here? Right here, it's a 142 when you're on 240, yeah. and about a 120 when you're on 69. So imagine playing like Call of Duty or uh, God of War, which is coming out soon, on that massive screen. It's incredible. I have that set up in my room, and I absolutely love it. So man, Carlos, we're excited about this room. The Bowers and Wilkins, the Sony, um, these guys that are pretty much just waiting outside the door to come in after we do this video, <laughs> they're chomping at the bit because they want to see what you've got to offer. You've done a great job. That's a beautiful image, and I can't wait for them all to see it. Thanks, Michael. We really appreciate you guys coming on. Michael, thanks for, for having us. It's Absolutely, been a blast so man. far. You and I are going to have a great time after this. Great. Well, guys, we've got plenty more videos like this coming your way from Audio Advice Live, so stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys have an incredible week. God bless, and we will catch you in the next video.